it's been brilliant to welcome my friend Annalise to High Peak today. Annalise works in the Shadow Treasury team. She's very kindly been uh, speaking to people in very soggy Buxton today. Mm. But people have been really excited about Labour's policies that are in the manifesto, yeah. about support for the schools that's so desperately needed mm. for our NHS that's facing more and more cuts under the Conservatives our police where we've lost our police cells and some of our police stations mm -hmm. and for social care but what people are worried about is they're worried that we can't actually fund this so Annalise on the Treasury team I know has been working for many years on, on tax policy mm -hmm. and making sure that we can fund those commitments that we've given to people. Yeah, yeah. absolutely and essentially what we're interested in doing is reversing some of those tax cuts that we've seen mm. since 2010 for yeah. the very, very best of people, the top 5% of people mm. and for profitable companies. So if people are interested in checking this out for themselves, please, please do so. We've got what we've called the grey book. <laughs> Obviously, it's grey. Um, it's called Funding Real Change. You can find it on Labour's website. And if you go there, you can see exactly which tax changes mm. we need to make to have a fairer tax system and to have the money that we need for mm. public services like mm. those Ruth were, were, was just describing. So we have said on income tax that those at the very, very top of the income distribution earning £80,000 and above, and then again, those earning £125,000 and, uh, £125, mm. and above, that they should be paying a little bit more into the system. Mm. Um, we think the same applies when it comes to corporate taxation, where we've mm. seen very, very rapid reductions over recent years with no increase in business investment overall, mm. unfortunately. Um, so we would reverse some of those changes. We would, however, exempt smaller businesses from this. Those earning smaller profits, £300,000, um, would be exempted um, from the top rate that we would introduce. Mm. Um, we've also said that we need to do something that so many tax experts have said we should mm. be doing for a very, very long time, which is actually to tax income from wealth more equitably, so it's more similar to mm. taxing uh, income uh, that, that comes through wages. Um, so we have said, for example, we would change the regime for taxing dividends. Um, we think that that's, that's fair. We set out how we would do that here. Mm. But introduce financial transactions tax, that Tobin tax, mm. to make sure the financial system is safer. Tackle tax avoidance and evasion. And again, we set out exactly how we would do mm. that. Um, we would also have a review of tax release and expenditures because we find overwhelmingly mm. they tend to be used by those who are already mm. well off, um, uh, by companies which are already very, very profitable. Um, and we've reversed some of the other changes that have only benefited those at the, really at the top of the income distribution, mm. like the reductions in inheritance tax, for example, inheritance tax only being paid by 4% mm. of mm. estates in the UK. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, we think that we should be uh, not reducing that tax at the moment, as the Conservatives say we should be. Um, they're all pretty conservative estimates of, about the revenue we would get from those tax changes, but you can see them for yourself. If you've got any feedback on them, obviously do let Ruth know, <laughs> let, let me know. Um, but we're confident that through those changes, we can actually pay for the public services mm. that we desperately need. Thank you so much, Annalise. And I think it was the BBC and the IFS that brought it home to me that the cost of Boris Johnson's no deal Brexit will actually be more than all of Labour's policy commitments put together, but we will have nothing to show for yeah. it in terms of better police, better schools, better hospitals. Yeah. So the choice is really clear. You can either go for a Conservatives who are not going to invest and will cripple our economy with debt down to the hard Brexit they're doing, or you can have a Labour government and invest in the services we need, paid for by the people who can afford it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.